Hey guys, it's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a little different than what I usually do. I'm used to bringing you guys some couponing deals and today I didn't use any coupons, but I did find some amazing fall decor at Dollar Tree. So I wanted to share that with you guys because everything at Dollar Tree is $1 and this stuff is amazing. I was so surprised at how much they had. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for clicking on this video. As I already mentioned, I typically do couponing hauls. So an average week of videos usually looks like Walmart couponing and I bought a hauls once or twice a week, Walgreens usually once a week, and usually CVS hauls once a week. Today I'm going to be sharing the Dollar Tree deals with you guys, but I'm also going to be sharing some Bath & Body that I picked up. So let's start with that. So in case you guys don't know, every so often Bath & Body runs a sale on their three wick candles. And this weekend is one of those weekends. So if you like their three wick candles, you can get any of them this weekend for $12.95, which is incredible. They're normally $24.50. But if you get their coupons in the mail or in your email, you can also use those coupons on this deal. So what I did was I used a 20% off coupon that was mailed to me. And if you're not signed up for their mailing coupons, you will definitely want to go to their website and do that. They send coupons out on average, I think about once a month. Um, and you get usually a percent off coupon as well as a freebie. So I used my 20% off on the candles. I picked up four of them. I've already burned one of them. Um, this is my favorite and the lettering might be backward. So it says marshmallow fireside, but this is one of my absolute favorite candles from Bath and Body Works. So using that 20% off of $12.95, you end up getting $2 and I think it was 59 cents off. So the candle ends up just a little over $10 before taxes, which is incredible. So if you're thinking about Christmas, which I know is a little ways away, um, but if you're thinking about that, you're a future oriented kind of person like I am, then these make fantastic gifts. And right now with that 20% off, you can get one for a little over 10 bucks plus tax. Now the freebie coupon that I received this month was on their hand creams. So you can get any of their one ounce hand creams. And the one I got is Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. It smells amazing. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm definitely that person that likes pumpkin stuff year round. So I could smell that all day, every day and be in seventh heaven. So it's this little bitty hand cream and they make really nice little gifts too, or little stocking stuffers. So even if this is something you wouldn't use, if you get that free coupon, you may wanna go ahead and redeem. You don't have to purchase anything when you redeem that coupon. You can literally go in and just get your freebie. So if you don't wanna buy any candles or anything else this weekend, take advantage of this. I think my coupon said that it expired around August 29th. And usually Bath & Body does take expired coupons up to a couple of days. So you pretty much have until the end of August to use that coupon. Okay, so now let's get into the fall decor at Dollar Tree. Um, I am not a summer person. I have said that before on my channel. I don't like hot weather. I love fall. I love the cold weather actually too. So. I know it's mid-August, uh, but typically Dollar Tree puts out their stuff right around now and it goes fast. So some of the decor will not last long. So even though I won't be necessarily displaying this right now, I figured I might as well grab up what I want before it's gone. Some of the things that I got were like already looking bare on the shelves. So I don't know if that means they haven't fully stocked the shelves yet, or if enough people have already been purchasing these items that they're almost sold out. Okay, so the first thing that I grabbed, which is just nice to have, is this wreath hanger. So you can use this obviously for any holiday season. They had purple and they had black at my store. 
I don't know if they have other colors that they'll be putting out. Um, the purple did look really cool for Halloween, but I did go with the black just because it seemed like it might get utilized a little bit more. Um, so this just hooks on your door and you can put a wreath on this or you can put a number of different decorations on this. So what I grabbed to hang on this on my front door were a couple different things. One was more for Halloween. And you guys, if you've watched my channel, you know I have two cats whom I love and they're often in my videos, at least Gizmo is. Um, so I got this little black cat with the three pumpkins and I thought that was super cute. It's got like these glittery accents. So it's not overwhelming with glitter, which um, kind of drives me crazy. Like when the glitter comes off on your hand and stuff, I'm not about that. But it's got just enough glitter that it's, you know, subtle, but it's a nice little accent. So I thought that was super cute for $1. And it's got the string here so I can hang it on the hook. And I'll probably just put like a little um, double-sided tape on the back to stick it to the door just so it's not like moving around constantly. But I thought that would be really super cute for around Halloween. And then I grabbed one that I thought was a little bit more appropriate for uh, the Thanksgiving season. A lot of times people um, think that Thanksgiving gets overlooked. And you know, I just think we don't have as much decor. We don't have as many Thanksgiving movies or as many Thanksgiving songs as we do Halloween and Christmas. So uh, when I can find a Thanksgiving decoration, I love to grab it up. And this is what I selected. And I'm sorry, I think it's backwards for you guys. It says grateful in this really pretty font and it's silver, but you can see that, you know, when the light catches it, it looks different colors. So it's got this little um, straw twine kind of, not straw, but <laughs> um, this twine kind of hook here. This little bow is really cute. And that's that. So $1, I thought that was so, so cute. And then another uh, more Thanksgiving kind of decoration that I found was this that says, gather with grateful hearts. And again, I thought this like taffeta bow was so cute. And it's got the little like squash on here. And my favorite color is orange. So anything orange is for me. And I just thought that was so cute. So I've got a little shelf in my bathroom that I usually put my decorations on. I have to keep them up high because of the cats <laughs> um, because they will knock over anything and everything they can reach. So I plan on putting this on my shelf in the bathroom as it gets closer to Thanksgiving. Okay, what to share next. So speaking of the shelf in the bathroom, let me share a couple things, other things I got for that. This little owl really could be there any time of year. I love owls. I have a huge owl collection in my office at work. I probably have 16 or 17 different owls. Um, I have this ring that is actually an owl that I wear all the time. So I love owls and I saw this for $1. They did have different colors. They had some greens, some oranges, um, some lighter browns, different things like that. But I just thought that was so, so cute and it would go really great with the different Halloween decor and the Thanksgiving decor. And then I also grabbed this little pumpkin. Now I have a pumpkin in the bathroom that I keep there year round, um, but it's gray. So I like the orange and this has the little green uh, leaf and the little brown stem. And they did have lots of different colors of these as well. This one is ceramic, um, but they did have some that were made out of like, it felt like styrofoam maybe. They were very light. Um, but they were bigger and my shelf is pretty small. So I wanted to get the smaller one for my shelf. And then the last thing that I got to put on the shelves is this little fake succulent. So I have some real succulents outside, um, but I love these little fake succulents for inside. And this one just had all the different fall colors. 
So I thought that was really, really cute and that it would go really well with, you know, these other little decorations that I got. Now, another thing that I picked up that I plan on putting around the shelf is this set of LED pumpkin lights. So these little pumpkin lights, um, they are battery operated. So I can, you know, put in my batteries and just put these kind of around. So I've got like a, it's like a hexagon shelving unit in the bathroom. So I figure I'd kind of drape that around and it would just give it that extra little Halloween flair. Um, but they did have lots of different um, options as far as the LED lights. So they had skeletons, ghosts, they had candy corn, which was super cute. They had some fall leaves. So I was so impressed with the options at Dollar Tree. It was amazing. And then, of course, I had to grab some socks. <laughs> These are really fuzzy, soft. Halloween type socks to be perfectly honest with you guys I wear these year-round because my feet get cold all the time so I will wear these probably year-round even though they are more Halloweenish but because they're just you know colorful I can I can pull it off I can get away with wearing it year-round um, some of the others did have like uh, pumpkins on them or um, I think some of them had like skulls or skeletons on them bats i saw those they did have some that were um if you like the low rise socks they had some low rise socks as well so lots of sock options at dollar tree for just one dollar and had to grab some treat bags so this is a great thing to grab up there are eight in here eight treat sacks they had different um designs so if you don't love this one they had lots of different designs to choose from so I usually make up little treat bags for my nieces and nephews and so I thought it would be just a good time to pick those up before they run out and we're coming close to the end the last Halloween thing I got is pretty large <laughs> So it says, tis the season to be spooky, and it is a floor mat for $1. I couldn't believe it. I was so, so happy to find this. They did have at least one other design. I think it just said trick or treat on it. Um, I don't know, once again, if they have finished putting everything out. My guess is no, that there's probably a little bit more coming. Um, but it was pretty full in my store of different Halloween items. So, I mean, there was a whole wall covered in Halloween stuff and then there were like two aisles with Halloween things. So I think they've got a lot of their things out now, but they might be adding some stuff here and there. Um, but I just thought that was so cute for $1. So I had to grab that up. Now, I do have one more thing to share with you guys. It's not a Halloween item, but for $1, I thought this was an amazing deal. 2022 calendars, and you get the large and the small calendar for $1. So I am a lover of mountains and that kind of landscaping, and a lot of these pictures had that kind of landscaping. So I thought now would be a great time to grab up these 2022 calendars. Now, hopefully we have things to put on those calendars. <laughs> I know that, um, you know, everyone is trying to be safe again right now. And so it's a little unpredictable in terms of what 2022 is going to look like. Um, but it's very nice to have a calendar in the house just to kind of reference what day of the week certain dates fall on and things like that. So... I decided to take advantage while I could, while I had those dollar calendars. So hopefully this video helps you guys just to kind of, you know, get a sense of what is a Dollar Tree. I had no idea I would find so much stuff. I, I have been in Dollar Tree around Halloween in the past. Um, and I think I didn't get there early enough, guys, because in the past I had seen, you know, a few decorations here and there, mostly candy and like, you know, things for the kids, which is great, but you can pretty much get that stuff anywhere. 
Um, but the decor, I don't remember seeing this much of it in the past. So I was super excited with what I found. You guys, let me know if you plan on grabbing up any Halloween decor or fall decor at Dollar Tree. Also, let me know where your favorite place is to shop for fall decor. I definitely plan on hitting up Cracker Barrel, but because it's the weekend, I will not be going now. <laughs> Cracker Barrel on the weekend is insane. So I'll be waiting until maybe a weekday when it's not quite as busy there, but I know they have a lot of really cool things. They have, I think, an owl skeleton mug this year that I really want. Um, and then I know Hobby Lobby, Michael's, um, obviously the Spirit Halloween stores have a lot of different items, but let me know where you plan on shopping for your fall decor. All right, guys. Well, that's it for this video. I will be back soon, hopefully on Sunday or Monday with my CVS haul. Last week's CVS didn't give me that many great CRTs, but we'll see about this week. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And until next time, guys, happy couponing.